I mean, it's not like we have any control over who stays and goes anyway. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. All, only thing we have control over is who we hang with. And What do you do with that, y'all? This is your girl, Sasha Craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on the Street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, Toya is making her interview round. She stopped at Boss Up, you know, do a little gossip, and then she stopped at OK Magazine. Now, the whole thing with these two interviews that have the same thing in common is the whole mean girl narrative how they was mean to quad and they just kicked her off the island okay and had the girl going back home after they told her she could come and you know try to work things out this whole intervention thing but it was really an ambush some people saw it as an ambush and we're gonna talk about the bachelorette party first so this is what she had to say about that about quad showing up she said, you know, I believe in good drama on TV. I do. But I also believe in real drama. Hello, because that wouldn't happen. I'm, I'm, that would have not happened. But continue. I don't like people saying that they have a script or that they had to show up because we all have a choice in the matter. Nobody can make grown women almost 50, almost 40, almost 60 do anything. It's not in our contract. And look at Miss Heavily in the back. Yes. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. Girl, you know you here for the drama all day, every day. But she admits to it, so it is what it is. So, Toya goes to also say, so stop with the nonsense. I want it to be known, flat out. She came by her own free will. She wanted to be there. She wanted a check. I said, oh, I'm surprised you showed up. And she said, well, I do want my check. And so my thing is, if you're going to do that, then you need to own it. Don't come in here acting like you were invited by a producer and have Phaedra saying you just wanted to explain yourself to the group. Because there are so many other opportunities. There were so many other... Did she say the same damn thing? Because there are so many other opportunities. There were so many other opportunities for her to come and explain herself. She wanted to make an entrance. And if you know Quad, she liked entrances. And so that was her debut. And I just felt like that wasn't right because it took away from Tisha's moment. And definitely a moment that I planned. So I wasn't <laughs> about to pretend to the people. Well, of course we wasn't going to pretend to the people. Because you don't like quiet anyway. So that was like the producers knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. They wanted a little uproar out of you, which they got. Quiet got her moment in Pope Tisha whatever so <laughs> we just gonna move right along now toya also responded to fans alleging that she and the other ladies were being mean girls by trying to oust quad from the group i think mean girls is a misconception because i think the reality is when they watch our show one of the most important things they've always asked us was to keep it real oh we want you to keep it real but some of this y'all got going on this season, uh. They've always said that Married to Medicine was one of those shows where it wasn't contrived, where it was actually real friendship. So, what do y'all want from us? Do you want us to pretend? Hell no, we don't want you to pretend. It'd be like the other shows out here. Uh, but the antics y'all got going on, I don't know. Do you want us to become like other shows that you complain about? I just said it, hell no. 
because we're just really and truly at a place where we're like, look, how many times do we have to give people the chance to actually be a real friend? So I guess it's all going back to choir don't ever be there she only come up when it's time to film well you know you got your little underlying things going on with her but we talking about the other castmates but anyways don't get me wrong we are co-workers (laughs) i'm glad you said that we are we come to work and we clock in like you said but the reality is in the midst of clocking in we try to maintain friendships the reality is we try to maintain off camera a relationship how do you build a relationship if you're se- if you separate yourself from these individuals if one decides that she no longer wants to be around the people there's nothing we can do about it she can make it seem like it's us telling her to go away and, and it's sad because i don't think any of us are that type of person i know i'm not and so i can't do that that's part of my job so you're saying that's in the job description that i have to keep in contact with you when we're not even filming which is i guess that's what y'all supposed to do since it's supposed to be y'all supposed to be real friends but oh, okay my job is to build relationships with the people on my show and maintain it and if it's not and if she's not willing to do that part of her job, which is the most important part, then she needs to find herself a new job with real friends. Oh, we. <laughs> so when discussing this matter over at OK Magazine, she said this was not about pushing anyone off the show. It was really about having a genuine friendship with someone because once it gets to a place where you have people on the show and they have ulterior motives, it's almost like solvency. When it comes to ever personally being able to reconnect with Quad again, the bridge may have forever been burned. I've been the butt of a lot of negativity. Even having to explain to my children why someone who I'm saying is my friend on the show would say that my husband and I have a relationship where I'm not faithful. That's crazy because my children are teenagers. They have genuine questions. It broke my heart. They've now come to the conclusion that if it can't happen to me, it can happen to them. It starts from having no relationship. Well, girl, you had said that on the live not too long ago. And would I be Quad's friend again? I don't think it's that I'm, I'm at a place in my life where I'm teaching my sons about the word friend. Uh, I think that friends treat people a certain way. Do we hurt each other every now and then? Sure, but it's not consistent. And it's not in the same way. We do make mistakes. And we're supposed to grow from them. And I just think that Quad is at a place where she holds on to a lot of anger. I do not And I don't want to ever be in a place where I have to be nervous around somebody coming to attack me later. And that's how I feel about Quad. It is what it is. And and it's not just me. It's my husband. And and for whatever reason, people are conveniently forgetting that I didn't just one day wake up and say I didn't like Quad. A lot of shit happened between Quad and I. A lot. I mean, the, the, you know, when you start involving your your husband's, there were times when Quad would literally be at my house, fall, fell asleep, read my kids' books. We actually had and tried to have a relationship, but every time we tried to have a relationship, there was some conniving, backbiting, something. And I've just gotten to a place where, yes, I can always be cordial with Quad. I invited her on the trip, and I was like, even if me and her didn't make it work, I said, well, she can make it work with other people. I think I made that very clear. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next one. Be breezy. Now, let's be clear. We all want our check because they come in on time. It really do. I, 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 I'm I, there for my check. But I love all the ladies. And my whole thing is I don't want to and I will not abandon anybody on the show. I won't abandon Toya. If Toya has some issues and some problems, I will never abandon you. And now y'all know I would never abandon Jackie. I would never abandon Simone. And I, now I wouldn't abandon you either. I think that we all make mistakes. Lord knows I make them. Lord mm-hmm. knows I say the wrong things all the time. So if it's about saying the wrong thing, then we all could go. Nobody about to push quiet out of the group. And that narrative being put out there is dangerous. And, and just so you know, we can't push her out of the group. 
We don't have that authority. To be here based on her actions all year round or not. And that's what they want to talk about. And I, and I will add to it. I have been a friend to Quad. I have been a friend to Quad. Quad pushes herself out the group. Nobody pushes anybody out the group. People, people get, get left behind because that's what they want to do, in my opinion.